All right, hey guys, welcome back. We're in Lana Lulu. We gotta find Kai now. Okay, she's interested in Eric. Hey, what's up, mustache guy? All right, play us your song. Oh, I'm gonna have to read it? Never mind. Nope. Get out of here. All right, there's Nun Lady. There's Jade. Nobody around here has seen him. He's not much of a party person. Michelle's still waiting for us back on that island. We should try to track him down as soon as we can. Okay, let's go talk. Oh, there we go. And where do you think you're going? You're off to look for Kai, aren't you? Well, I'm coming with you. Oh, hello, hey, Veronica. Monica. What are you doing out here? Fisherman said the party was only for grown-ups, so they couldn't let me in. Is every bar in the world full of stubborn idiots or something? Anyway, you're going to look for Kai, aren't you? I've got nothing better to do, so I might as well join you. Okay, cool. Okay, apparently Kai's down at the dock. Nope, don't get... There we go. Is that him down there? Nope, get out of the way, cat. Looking for a guy named called Kai, huh? Well, sure, that's me. Kai Nui to my mom, but everybody else just calls me Kai. What do you want? Have me mixed up with yeah, right, else. whatever, man. Hm. Don't give us that nonsense. We know you're the only Kai in Lonolulu. If you never meant to marry that poor mermaid, you should never have proposed to her. Hey, go easy on the accusations, will you? People here got no love for mermaids. If they think I do, I'll be in trouble. <sighs> the Kai you're looking for is my grandfather, Kai Noah. I take it you've heard the tale of the mermaid's curse? Yes, yes, your mother told us all about it. But I can't see what an old fairy tale has to do with anything. You can't keep Michelle waiting any longer. That's what I'm trying to tell you. It's not a fairy tale, it's true. The fisherman from the story? That was my tutu, my grandpa. What? <gasps> It all happened 50 years ago, and it happened just like my ma tells it. But the story didn't end there. Ten years after Grandpa got chased out of the village, the Kahuna's daughter, Leilani, she married another man, and they had a kid together. Alrighty. After the baby came, the people started to forget about Kainoa and the curse the mermaid put on him. Till one day, another great storm struck, even more violent than the one that sent my grandfather to the bottom of the sea. The Kahuna's boat went down, and him and his daughter's new husband went with it. The men who survived went to break the news to Leilani, but when they got there, her and the baby, they were nowhere to be found. Suspense. The said it was the mermaid's revenge that she took all four of them because she couldn't have Kainoa. So they lit torches and they marched to Saikiki Beach to confront him. When they threw open the door of his hut, they couldn't believe what they saw. What the, a blue person? He'd been living all alone for the last 10 years, but there he 
was with a baby in his arms. And the baby, it was dripping with water. What? They ran off screaming, talking about how he must have had a kid with the mermaid. And that was the last time anyone from the village went to Saikiki. Okay. Wait. But that baby must have been your mother, which would mean she was half mermaid, which would make you Coolie coolie. Don't even say it. My mother is a human being. My grandpa found her abandoned on the beach and raised her as his own. He never had a kid with a mermaid. That's just a stupid rumor made up by a bunch of superstitious fishermen. If that mermaid really is still out there somewhere waiting for Grandpa, there's something I want you to give her. Meet me on Saikiki Beach. It's on the other side of the cape. You can get there through the chapel at the back of the village. I'll leave the door unlocked. Okay, we're going to Saikiki Beach. Sounds like Waikiki Beach. What a coincidence. Yeah, they didn't they didn't put a lot of time into coming up with interesting or different names here. What is she doing? Is there just a, a... What is... What is happening? What is she doing? Okay, well, let's go back up this way. Go around again. Wait, no, we want to go... Oh, wait, we didn't go this way. Let's see what's over here. Did we go in here? Narspicious. Oh, there's some people. Okay, well, broke into your home and broke your stuff. Bye. Through the church. Waikiki Beach, or Saikiki Beach, should be this way. Here we go. Got a little graveyard. Gravestone is old and worn, and the inscription is too faded to read. Crimson Coral. Crimson Coral. Got a building here. I want to be on the lookout for the targets that we have to find. But I don't know if they're going to be around here. What the crap is that thing? This veil was my tutus. Ma said when she found him after he died, he was just lying there holding on to it. Guess there was a reason I never threw it away. If you really know where to find that mermaid, I want you to take it to her. And tell her he's dead. Look, I'm sorry if I was kind of short with you back there. But it hasn't been easy for me and my ma. After Grandpa died, they let her go back to the village and marry a local guy. But it didn't stop folks talking. But she rose above it, turned it into that story show of hers. And now that's how she makes her living. 
She's a smart woman. Tough, too. I hate that mermaid for what she's put us through. And I don't want my kids to suffer like we have. The kahuna is finally letting me sail with the other men. The curse is nearly undone. Please, take the veil and let that be an end to it. Okay, so we're we just going to take the veil to the mermaid lady? Yep, okay. We might be able to just uh, zoom there. Yep, awesome. That is a real time saver. Alright, there she is. Let's go talk to her and tell her the disappointing news. She'll be heartbroken, but then she'll be like, Well, you fulfilled your end of the deal. So I'll... T oh, yeah, let's grab this treasure chest. So I'll take you down to Nautica. It's pretty much how it goes in these games. Another mini metal. Okay, to keep, but you don't need to know that. Okay. Yep, let's tell her. Oh, no, I don't want to. I said the wrong thing. There we go. Should have read that better. Hold on a minute. What's that thing you're holding in your hand? A net of pearls and seashells on a pretty coral band. Fox, give Ma Fox gives Michelle the lover's veil. Sam I Kai made this veil to wear when, when we were wed and clutched it as he passed away. You're saying that he's dead? No, please no, it can't be so. I know he'd never break that promise that he made to me. There must be some mistake. How can my Kai have passed away? I nursed him back to health. I simply won't believe it till I've found out for myself. I need to meet the Kai you've met and hear it straight from him. Take me to Honolulu. You can sail and I can swim. What's that? Oh, I don't come aboard? Why don't I come aboard? Oh, thanks. You're very kind. There's a lot to think about. I'll follow on behind. Okay, so now we're going back on the ship. Okay, we sail back. We drop anchor in the waters off of Saikiki Beach. Okay. The locals see a mermaid. It'll fill their hearts with fear. I'll hide on this abandoned beach and wait for Kai right here. Sorry to keep asking, but this is my final plea. Would you please find that man you met and bring him back to me? Let's go back up the thing. Talk to him again. Oh, it's locked. Okay, well, let's zoom to... Lonolulu. Okay, we just have to. It means there's. We're just gonna have a cutscene at some point soon. There we go. Or maybe that's just the. Yeah, that's just the loading. Alright, where is this guy at? That's not him, that's Mustache Beard Man. Maybe he'll be back out on the docks? Oh, he's on that ship still. Nope, that's not him, that was just the mast. Okay, that guy's too busy to talk. Where is this dude? Oh, 
Nope, not not down there. Not him. Okay, let's go over here. There's at least a guide person up here. Oh, it's him. It's Kai himself. Yep. Okay. We're just skipping through that. We know what he's saying. Okay, so now we just got to run back. Man, that. Why couldn't I teleport? That seems. This just seems like filler. door then the loading screen then talk to Elmer Mado why have you brought me here Yep, that's true. Oh, silly me. I'm always far too quick to jump for joy. You don't know me. I don't know you. You're not my darling boy. No, I'm not. The man you loved, he was my grandfather. But he's not here anymore. That's his gravestone. Got some dope rhymes. Thanks for finding Kai for me. You've been a proper friend to trace my love across the sea until the bitter end. I said I would reward you, and I mean to pay that debt. You'll find your prize upon the self same island where we met. I'm sorry I can't come along and see you on your way, but now I'm here, I can't go back. I think I have to stay. Okay. Oh, she's putting on the veil. Michelle sings a bewitching melody that reverberates off the cliffs above. Oh. And she turns, she gets human legs. Now her and this Kai are gonna make it, make it happen. They're gonna get together. I waited for you so, so long through sun and stormy weather. But now it's time, at long, long last, we're going to be together.
Okay, she's making out with a with a rock right now. It's kind of weird. But not it's not like Dwayne Johnson. It's just a literal like stone. She gonna die? Is that what's about to happen? Oh, there it is. You've got your granddad's hands, you know. <laughs> Literally. They're in a they're in my trunk. Man, she basically just committed suicide. If I had been a human, or if he had been like me, perhaps we could have lived together, happy as can be. But I'm a mermaid. He's a man. There's no point asking why. He was my one true love. But now... She just he just force pushed her out into the ocean. Oh man, we are watching her die right now. Wow, this is this is sad. And now that's a jellyfish. Guess we're following him, him up there. The painting of it, there it is. This is Grandpa's handwriting. Dearest beloved, ever since you saved me on the day of the great storm, the dream of one day being reunited with you is all I have lived for. But now I fear that dream is over. Forgive me, my darling, but I cannot keep my promise. Some years after my boat was burned and I was exiled to this beach, the fishing fleet was hit by another great storm, and many people lost their lives. The Kahuna and his daughter Leilani's husband were among them. One night, not long afterward, I saw a woman standing on the cliffs. She had a baby in her arms. It was Leilani, the woman who was once to be my wife. Okay. With her father and husband gone, she had lost all hope and all reason. I called out to her, but in her grief, she could not hear me. Before my disbelieving eyes, she threw herself into the ocean. I tried to save her. Lots of suicide going on right now. Everything I could, but only the baby survived. to row back home you're not in any pain i wish you'd let me keep you till you're fighting fit again don't worry about me michelle you fix me up real good i'm fitter than ever uh, ah! what a dummy <laughs> Just promise me you'll be back soon. 
I'll wait right here for you. Just a long, long cutscene. Sorry, Michelle. I... I can't leave. I can't just be thinking of myself anymore. This child needs me. The villagers say you put a curse on me, but it's only because they don't understand. They don't want what happened to me to happen to anybody else. You have to forgive them. They don't know you like I do. They don't know you at all, and what they don't know, they fear. I sometimes wonder if you're still sitting there, on that rock, still waiting for me to return. But it's too late for me now. I'll never make it back there. I'll understand if you can never forgive me, but I want you to know one thing. I love you. I always will. So sad. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have been so hard on you. Without you, I'd never have known all of this. I never met Michelle. this time I hated that mermaid for what she did to my grandfather but now I see how he really felt he wasn't cursed he really loved her wow okay well that was a real long cutscene but we got into the end of that story uh, let's go you know what we're gonna go to the strand in the next episode because that'll start a new section, I think. A new a new part of the quest. So uh, we'll see you then, guys. Make sure you come back, watch the next episode. And uh, we'll see you then. Bye!